If you're looking for show us your cat on Joyrider TV, then you have come to the right place. Let's take a look. Hello, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. And yes, once again, we're back with more show us your cat because it is Sunday afternoon here in Vasiliki on the island of Lefkos in Greece. As you might be able to see, or you might not, it is nothing short of champagne sailing conditions out there. Probably 25 knots of breeze and flat water and there is nobody out. That looks pretty juicy to me, but nobody's out, nobody's going out. It's death on a stick out there. So instead, let's look at your boats and where it is that you sail them and get out there and have a look at what you've got for us this week on Show Us Your Cat. We're starting off this week by heading to Brazil, to Porto Alegre, the Gaiba River, where we have Reinaldo, who has got a Hobie 14 with a very colorful sail, that's right. Um, his 14 is a 1985 boat. And if you're thinking, oh my goodness, that sail is really popping, considering it's 15 years old. He actually replaced the sail four years ago. On the Gaiba River, they have some absolutely sweet wind and a great place to go sailing. We've also got Rinaldo's friend, who's Peter, who's got the pink sailed Hobie 14 there, also a 1985, but Peter's got his original sails on there. You'll notice that both 14s are featuring silver spars. So the mast and the beams are all silver. And that was a trend for Hobie Cat in the Southern Hemisphere, I believe. Uh, to supply the boats with silver spars rather than black ones. Here's some footage of the guys absolutely sending it downwind on one of those heavenly long broad reaches that just keeps on giving. And then here's some uh, photographs from the Fortress Challenge race from Santa Catarina uh, last November which looked like a great event and hopefully the guys will be able to have this event on again this year. So thanks very much, Ronaldo, for sending in those pictures and that video showing us that Hobie sailing is going very strong in Brazil. Next, we're heading to the UK. We're going to Cornwall in the southwest of the UK to Rock, where we have Jeremy. Jeremy is actually an ex Wildwind member of staff. He worked out here in 1992 and he is an absolute Hobie 16 fanatic. He's currently the owner of two Hobie 16s, but his main boat is what we're going to focus on here. It's a 1994. La Rochelle World's boat with the original Neil Pride sails sporting the O'Neill sponsorship logo there. At the time, these were definitely the must have sails with that iconic O'Neill logo on there. Jeremy's boat is called Smoking Bimbo. You can read into that whatever you like. Jeremy's son was featured previously with, you may remember, a boat called Spladoosh. So if this picture looks quite familiar, it's because his son Will used this picture as well. Now, um, it was Jeremy's father who got him into Hobie 16 sailing. And unfortunately, his father recently died. One of Jeremy's father's oldest friends did this oil painting of the 16 with a Cornish shrimper in the background. And here's the shot that that painting was taken from. Thanks very much, Jeremy, for keeping the dream alive in the southwest of the UK there. And keep up the good work and the good sailing. 
hope to see you on the race course sometime soon. Next, we're going to Southern Australia, to Victor Harbour, where we have Kai, who sails with Daniel. Kai's got a 2009 Coronada sails Hobie 16. I think you'll agree that Kai's boat looks extremely robust and very well sorted out. I think this boat could go out in any amount of wind and come out on top. If you look closely, you'll see he's got the Epo 2 rudder blades on. Uh, the Epo 2s are just as good as the Epo 3s, except they came before the Epo 3s. So when the Epo 2s were out, you couldn't get 3s. You could only get 2s um, because of the time. Um, but there's Kai in action. Do check out the video of Kai in action in the description below. Um, head over to Kai's channel and see what he's up to there. But thanks very much, Kai, for sending us in those pictures of your absolutely cooking Hobie 16. So there we go. I think you'll agree those are some absolutely cooking boats and what great places to go sailing, showing that you don't have to go to Brazil for a bit of glamour. You can just head down to Cornwall in the UK. Glamour is just around the corner and it really is what you make of it and what you take out there on the water and how hard you send it. So well done guys, thanks very much for sending us those pictures of your boats for this week's Show Us Your Cat. If you would like to be featured in next week's Show Us Your Cat, all you need to do is send in some photographs, perhaps some video of you on your boat in action and where give me some information like where it is that you go sailing perhaps how old the boat is maybe how long you've had it um, if you've done something particularly interesting or out of the ordinary with your boat um, maybe you've got something for how do you get yours there um, if it's just a boat on a trolley that's quite average but you know if you're using a Chinook helicopter perhaps to get your boat onto the reservoir where you sail. I think that would be quite a nice feature. Um, also ongoing for those of you who are still getting afloat, we have got the speed stick. Of course, action is hotting up. I'll be putting another update together um, probably the end of next week. Also ongoing is, are you looking for a boat to buy or are you selling a boat that somebody else might want to buy. If you are, get in touch and I'll put a short video together to let the world know what you're looking for or what it is that you've got that others might want. I think that's a good service. Doesn't even have to be a whole boat. Perhaps you're selling a set of White Knight rudder blades. Uh, somebody will want those. So let me know and I'll put it in a short video. Coming up next week, here we go. What we've got is Monday, we've got another bicycle tour. I know some of you think I shouldn't be putting biking on the channel, but all you have to do if you don't like it is don't watch it. I think that's fair because there are quite a few people who do seem to like it. So I'm gonna keep doing it because I can, because uh, I can't go sailing at the moment and I've got to do something. Uh, so I'm gonna carry on doing that. So that will be on Monday. Then on Wednesday, as long as the weather's all right, we'll be live putting the sails up on the 16 that we've been preparing and just having a look. We'll have a chat about what we can do with our battens making it easier to put the sail up and then things like how much downhaul to put on, how we should set our traveler and main sheet for different situations. I think that will be quite interesting. And then on Friday, we'll have more stretching for sailors, which is very useful. I think all of the guys who've been joining with the stretching classes are feeling so loose right now uh, that they can hardly stand. So well worth coming along to. And then at the moment, kind of like peppered in amongst everything else will be some races on virtual regatta, which I've been taking part in 
with a bit of the usual style commentary, which you can take it or leave it. But if you haven't had a go on virtual regatta and at any time since lockdown started, you've been feeling bored, then I would strongly recommend it. Um, it's totally free. You can do it on your computer or on your phone or on your tablet, anything at all. And it's really fun. And you race against real people around the world. That's exciting. So there we go. I think that pretty much covers it. Um, yeah, so thanks once again to everybody who's been supporting the channel, especially those of you who are supporting the channel uh, using Patreon. If you'd like to get involved, then do check out the link below. And um, it's really very nice to feel that level of support because, uh, you know, the future is not what it was. It's different, so we don't know. So it helps, so thanks. Other than that, we'll be back next week with more Show Us Your Cat on Joyrider TV. Send us your pictures and your video and uh, get involved if you haven't already. So there we are. See you next time.